If you don't know St. Paul, a good place to start is uh, reading the letters of St. Paul. Though that's on St. Paul, just to, to learn about who he is, I discovered one that's really good. The cover is unfortunate. We did. I'm saying it. We had piles of books on St. Paul. But because it's his year, there is, uh, thankfully, a renewed interest in, in you know, St. Paul and his writings and everything. So some of my favorite ones are gone, I'm sorry to say, although the ones that I bought and I'm reading right now are still here. So those are the ones that I'm going to show you. All right. All right for once, there is uh, a lot of books on St. Paul that um, I'd like to say are more accessible for those of us who do not have degrees in theology. For those of us who just want to know about St. Paul, his life and letters, and, and get a little bit closer to him. There's so many books on St. Paul because he's written a lot of letters in the New Testament, a good deal of the New Testament, that are, are study books, are, are very good, but very academic. Um, something though that's on St. Paul just to, to learn about who he is, I discovered one that's really good um, called Paul, Least of the Apostles. It's a great overview of the life of St. Paul, but it's done in a way that you're taking a, a, a trip, you're traveling along with St. Paul. Um, the man who wrote it is a, a French journalist, and he actually went to all the different places um, that St. Paul traveled. So you're seeing it through his eyes and through the eyes of St. Paul at the same time. And it's very readable. As I said, the guy's a journalist, so he knows how to say it in an easy way. And um, it also has pictures, which um, for me are always a plus in any book. It's, uh, let me see if I can, it has um, actual pictures of the locations where St. Paul traveled from the, in the Holy Land and also some great artwork on St. Paul that goes back to like the first century and, and all through the centuries. It's a beautiful, um, a beautiful book to, you know, to read and then to keep in the family. But um, if you don't have a book on St. Paul, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about him, this one is very readable and um, something that I think y'all would enjoy. Now, along with that, if I could, uh, maybe suggest one other book, I mean, you can, as you can see, there's many here, uh, is this one here. I mean, this might seem like saying the obvious, but if you don't know St. Paul, a good place to start is uh, reading the letters of St. Paul. And this is something that we put out for, for the year dedicated to St. Paul. And some nice additions to this particular um, little book is that uh, the print is readable. Okay, that's number one on my list. It also has, and in the appendix, they have two appendixes. One is the prayers of St. Paul, which are directly from, taken from his letters, but they're, they're put in like uh, prayer for faith, hope, and love from 1 Thessalonians, prayer of praise, um, prayer to Christ our life from Colossians. It's, it's really a nice, um, it's, a, it's a nice extra in this book. And also the heart of St. Paul living in Christ, it's reading guides for um, living in Christ according to St. Paul. And then it refers you in the back to the topical index. So it's, it's like if you want to spend this year of St. Paul in um, learning more about him and what he actually wrote, this little book, um, if you're only going to get one, I would get this one. Because why not go back to the sources? Why not go back to you know, his original writings? Uh, it also has really wonderful introductions to all of his letters. All, um, each, each of his letters uh, has maybe a couple pages of introduction giving you um, a background on it and an outline of the whole letter. So it's, it's kind of everything in one little book. Let me just show you two other books, uh, the many that are on the table here. Um, if, if you are interested in more books on St. Paul, you could always call one of our bookstores and they'd be happy to, you know, to run down the whole list for you. But for my two particular favorites, um, believe it or not, it's this big volume. It's Excellent. When, when these books first came in, I, I, I browsed through all of them because I wanted myself to like deepen my, my understanding and love of St. Paul during this special year. So I said, which one am I going to pick if I could only take one? And I picked this one up because it's, it's, um, it's kind of like a textbook, but not uh, only that it has questions and outline questions and answers in the back. It also has photographs from his travels. It has maps. It gives you um, an introduction to Paul's world, worlds, actually, because he lived in more than one, you know. Um, Paul's resume, Paul's letters, Paul's gospel, his spirituality, and theology. And then it takes each one of his letters. So it's, um, it's like, in a nutshell, every, you know, 
not just his letters, not just from a theological aspect, but also the world he lived in, uh, the Greek world, the Roman world, the Jewish world. You know, it, it kind of draws all of that together, the culture he was coming from, um, and, and putting that all into context. So it's like you, you're, you're talking about a, a, a living, breathing human being here that, that actually lived here and, and, you know, had his gospel to, of Jesus Christ that he spread, but within a certain context. And so it gives you that context first. And then it goes through each of the letters of St. Paul. It's just a wonderful um, book to have. And it is readable. Although it is a little bit more academic, it's very, very readable, very accessible. And then since this author, Michael Gorman, also had another book that came out, I said, well, let me look at that one too. The cover is unfortunate. <laughs> Because if it's a book on St. Paul, I, I would think, you know, how would you know from, from the cover? However, I said, because it was the author, I said, let me look into it because I liked his other book so much. This one is even better because although this one takes like, uh, you know, from the a academic aspect of, okay, bing, 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 all his letters and, and, you know, all the information, this is really the heart of it. This is, is his spirituality. Um, this one I ended up taking to chapel and I'm going over it slowly, slowly, slowly. Although I'd like to, s you know, stick another picture of St. Paul on the cover and make it prettier, you know, more appealing. But please don't be put off by the cover because the inside of the book is phenomenal. It's really uh, well worth looking into. Um, for those of you who've, who've already studied St. Paul and who want something a little deeper, um, I would really suggest this one. And. Um, it, there seems to be no end of books on St. Paul right now, but I mean, of, of all the ones that we have right now, these are the ones that I would um, suggest for starters. And, and then you can always go from there. You won't run out. Have a good year, St. Paul.